Bob here with Yonda's Music and it's the beginning of another school year and that means many of you are looking for an instrument for your student. We wanted to give you a few tips on what to look for as you decide to purchase that used instrument. Now of course we do have the Yonda's Easy Rent program that allows you to get a quality instrument into the hand of your student at a very affordable price, but there are oftentimes good deals to be had on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, uh, maybe a yard sale or a hand-me-down from a relative. Here's what to look for. We'll start with the brass wind instruments. That would include the trumpet, trombone, baritone or euphonium, and the French horn. The first thing you want to check is the brand. You want to make sure that it's from a trusted and established manufacturer. We'll list a few of those here, but if you're unsure, you can also do a Google search. If you're looking at a Bach trumpet, type in the Bach trumpet. If you find that brand for sale at reputable music stores such as Yonda's Music or other brick and mortar stores, it's probably a good brand. If the only place you find it is say the big online store or the online auction house or some of the import uh, online stores, you probably want to avoid that brand. Chances are parts are going to be impossible to get and we've generally found the quality is not quite what it needs to be for your student to be successful. I also want to address any of the brightly colored instruments you might find, such as the red trumpets and the blue trombones. No quality manufacturer makes their instruments in those funky colors. Most brass wind instruments are going to be a shiny brass like this, or they might be silver plated such as this flute. So let's get started. On the trumpet and baritone, you want to take a look at the general condition of the horn. This is true for any of them, I guess. And uh, you want to look for any major dents. Now we've got a few dents around the bell here. Here's a, a dent here, there's one there. And what you're really looking for is on these smaller tubes, that would be what's called the lead pipe here, and uh, the tuning slides, and any of those smaller tubes. You wanna look for any major dents that might impede the airflow. Minor dents, such as we see on this second valve slide, not a big deal. Anything that impedes the airflow, though, is gonna affect the playing of the instrument. You also wanna inspect the finish on it, and you wanna look out for any bare brass. You can see how nice and shiny this is. Bare brass will look like this. It'll have kind of a rust colored almost, sometimes a green color, and uh, that can discolor your hands as you're playing. It can cause skin irritation, and frankly, it, it actually kind of stinks. So you want to avoid any of those with bare brass. We want to inspect the valve on the trumpet and the baritone, and you just loosen that top valve cap and pull the valve out. It should have a nice silver or gray appearance, and you want to avoid any valve that shows any bare brass again on that. That's where the flaking has, has come off there. That will cause the valve to feel kind of scratchy and uh, might even cause it to stick. You want to make sure that the valves operate freely. If they're just a little bit sluggish, a lot of times that just means the valve needs cleaned. That's not a big deal. If, however, you push down on the valve and it gets stuck or you really have to force it, there's probably a dent in the valve casing and you'll, it can be repaired, but you'll want to consider that expense as you make your offer. On the trombone, we want to look at the trombone slide. So this trombone's pretty ugly on the outside with that bare brass, but the slide operates freely and it should operate freely. Again, if it's just a little sluggish, probably not a big deal, just needs cleaned. If it comes out part way and then it kind of sticks really bad and you have to pull it hard, it's probably got a dent in the uh, outside slide. And again, that can be repaired. You want to remove that inner slide, just pull it out. And you want to take a look at particularly at these last six or eight inches. It should have a nice gray appearance like this or silver. And you shouldn't see any of that bare brass, uh, which would look like this again. Same as the valve. And uh, you want to avoid that. Those can be replated, but it's a very expensive process and generally more expensive than what the instrument is worth. So there you go. A few tips on what to look for as you're considering the purchase of a used brass wind instrument. If you have any questions at all, give us a call 308-234-1970. You can stop by any of our three locations in Kearney, Grand Island, or Ogallala and uh, ask one of our technicians to take a look at the instrument. We can give you an idea as to what repairs it might need as well as what a value for that instrument might be. You can also go to the website, yondasmusic.com. Uh, there you can click on the little chat bot and ask any questions and you can check out our Easy Rent program.